Hello everyone, I'm Erin Brady. I am the manager for the Cult Planetarium at High Point University. Here at the Cult Planetarium, we are more than just a space for astronomy. We've had lectures for environmental science and anatomy labs in our planetarium space. And we're able to do this because we have three very distinct pieces of software. We have Starry Night for astronomy, we have the Layered Earth for earth science, and we have Zygote Body for anatomy. And so we like to think of our space as a performing arts venue for the sciences. And we even reach out to areas beyond our own. For example, early in January of 2020, we had our first theater performance in our planetarium, which was a dramatic reading of the play Copenhagen. And going forward, we do hope to have more performances in the space, reaching out to departments and areas all across campus. That's because the Cult Planetarium is an interdisciplinary space. We bring together many different areas under our dome. And something that really highlights that is our logo, actually. And so I'd like to introduce the artist behind this logo, Michael Welter. He is also an HPU alum and has a background in both art and science. And using both of these talents, he was able to design a logo for our planetarium that holds a lot of meaning to it. Hi, my name is Michael Welter. I graduated from High Point University in 2019. I'm currently a teacher in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I am the designer of the Cult Planetarium logo. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved art, and I kind of just assumed I would become an artist one day. But I got to high school, and I took a physics class with a teacher I really enjoyed, and it actually set me down a path to becoming a physics teacher myself. So while I was at High Point University getting my physics major, I decided to pick up a minor in graphic design. I said, why not? What, what's the worst thing that could happen? I started to realize that my background in drawing was actually really helpful when it came to uh, the sketching and creative process of designing logos and posters and book covers and it became a passion of mine, just like physics was. When I design a logo, I have two things in mind. First, I want it to be simple. It should be recognizable, the shape should be clean, and the color should be vibrant. And the second thing is I want it to be sophisticated. That although it is simple, it has some underlying meaning that can be unraveled and understood. So as I was deep in the brainstorming process, I had a light bulb moment and I thought, what better way to symbolize a physics-based club than with a logo that is the symbol of an atom? where we've got a nucleus that has some electrons flying around it. And so I started with this outline of a circle and some ovals around it, uh, but I got stuck. There, there really wasn't, there weren't many directions that I could go with that. And this is the final version of the logo that's being used today. Notice you can still see the nucleus on the inside with the paths of the electrons on the outside, but it's the spaces in between the lines that have been filled in. Now this plain white version of the logo looks very simple and doesn't look very sophisticated. But what's really cool is as we start changing the colors of some of these petals of the logo, we can actually create new images with this, within this same design that can reflect the different aspects of the cult planetarium's purpose. I could, for example, go in and color some of these petals myself. Maybe I wanna make these ones blue. I could make these ones red. and maybe just leave the rest of it white, and we have a rocket. In, within this same exact Cult Planetarium logo, we were able to create a picture of a rocket just by changing the colors. Some of the things that I was able to create within this logo is the planetarium dome within itself, 
We were able to find High Point University's mascot Prowler, the Earth, uh, lots of different hidden objects within this very simple but yet versatile logo. Truly it was when I realized that you could actually find the planetarium dome within the logo that I knew this was the logo that would come to represent the cult planetarium at High Point University. If you're feeling inspired, I encourage you to download the coloring sheet where you can color in your own cult planetarium logo to see what hidden objects you can find. Thanks, Michael, for giving us an inside look at our planetarium logo. And as you mentioned, we do have the coloring page available on our website for you all to download so that you can color in the shapes yourself and find other objects hidden within. And so we would love to see what you all can find hidden in our logo. So send them our way with any designs that you find. And so we hope to hear from you soon. And until then, keep looking up. <laughs>